Here we're being asked to write an equation in slope-intercept form, and then they give us the slope and the y-intercept, and then they also want us to graph the line. So as long as we know what slope-intercept form looks like, which is our y equals mx plus b, well then they give us the slope, which is our m, and they give us our y-intercept, which is our b, we literally just have to plug these into the equation. So we just plug it in and plug it in. So our equation is going to look like y equals negative 2 as our slope, negative 2 times x, plus b, or because it is minus 5, it would be minus 5. So here's our equation. I kind of drew over the minus 5 there. But there's our equation. So we could write y equals negative 2x minus 5. And then, of course, our y-intercept is our start point. So we would come on our y-axis to a negative 5. And we could write that as a coordinate 0, negative 5. Um, we would always write our y-intercept as a coordinate 0, comma, b. So our negative 5 comes in for the y value. And of course, it's always going to be 0, our x value, because it lies on the y-axis. So from here, our start point, we would use our slope, which gives us directions. Negative 2 can be represented as a fraction, negative 2 over 1, which would give us the directions of, of course, it's change in y over change in x, which says change 2 in the negative vertical direction, so down 2, and then change 1 in the positive x direction, so to the right 1. And then, of course, we could do the opposite as well because negative 2 over 1 is the same thing as positive 2 over negative 1, which would say rise 2 and to the left 1. So here we could go down 2, down 1, 2 over 1. Or we could rise 2, 1, 2, and to the left 1. And our line is going to look something like this.